Hi everyone, welcome back to my next vlog video. We're continuing our, uh, our series on the minivan build. We're here at, uh, in Oregon. This is the minivan that Homes on Wheels Alliance, the 501c3 has bought, and we are preparing it to give it away. So uh, we're going to uh, have Cliff walk us through the build. We're on day five. We have done all of this in five days. It's pretty incredible. And so, and, and uh, here's Cliff. So Cliff, if you would uh, walk us through this thing, what have we done so far? Well, we had uh, the bed and the flooring all in. And uh, so we've been working on the two cabinets, the one here in the back and one here inside. And this is uh, going to be our uh, little slide that will allow you to bring it out and put your little cook stove here. And then when you're not using it there, it'll also uh, be usable to cook inside if need be. The half of it goes inside. And then we uh, had another idea from KC to use it on this upper level so we could create a desk inside. So this allows you to have a desk to work at and uh, it gives you uh, multiple uses out of the same sheet. And over here in this area we had to have access to our jack. And so we made this shelf so it comes out. We made a cutout and here we can get to our jack. And this gives us that a nice little shelf there that we can get to. We uh, put these uh, one by twos on the tops of both shelves so that we could, uh, anything you put in here won't slide away and uh, it'll give you lots of space to store things on these tops. Put this back in the cooking position and then over here with this cabinet we also have a shelf that's removable for service and other uh, uses. And under it, we have a place for your five gallon bucket. Easily fits right in that hole. And then we have lots of space here for other storage, as well as again, a top with divisions in it that can be used with this one by two that'll prevent anything from sliding away. And you can store items in the top as well. We'll be putting our charge controller for our solar on this wall on the end. And that will give us a place to mount it. And we'll have easy access to get our cables in and we'll go up through the ceiling. But this will give us a great spot for our controls for our solar, solar uh, charge controller. So that's just right inside the door. So the controller will go here, just right inside the door. Yep, we'll have the charge controller here. Give us easy access for our cables to get inside and up through to the ceiling, through this channel that's already here. And that'll be great. Make it very easy, very clean. We won't have any wires hanging out. It'll look beautiful. Let me walk around looking from the other door. Yeah. That'll give them a better idea. And from here you can see the nice spot we have for five gallon bucket to fit right there. Yeah, I gotta have a five gallon bucket. And then we have this uh, just removable for access. We're gonna have different control, the solar stuff's gonna be mounted on this wall. So we'll have access to the back and plenty of room to work. And then we, these are the one by twos that will prevent anything from moving that we put on top. And some more, we're trying to create as much storage as possible in this small van to cre create as much space. Here you can see from the inside. Hold on, let me move around. So I'm looking down here. You can see where our cooking stand can be used from the outside. Or if you need to cook inside, you can pull it inside. And then, in addition to that, 
if you'd like another height for using as a work surface, then you've got this right here. And that'll be very handy. You can use it in any position you want. You can even use it outside in a higher position because we're trying to get as many functions out of each piece that we make as possible. But that gives you a lot of versatility in how to use that one simple board uh, coming through there. And it can even be used in this position. It can be used as a nightstand next to the bed. It'll be once we get the mattress on there, it'll be right there in that height. So it's lots, lots of options that you can do. We made these simple holes, make it easy to pull it and push it into these positions. It'd be really nice, really handy. Put a little iPad or even with your phone or a laptop, whatever works for you. We've got lots of options. I like it. Well designed. I think this is a brilliant, brilliant design. Just took lots of standing around and talking and thinking and scratching our heads. Yep. A lot of people just popped up with an idea and we just tried it out. And we've been really fortunate to have some good ideas from the people here. That has been fantastic. Really, really something. I'm going to walk around back. Uh, we've had uh, Karen who has verified all of these surfaces for us in advance and even come in after us and clean them up so they won't fingerprint. They have really nice verithane on the tops of them. Even though you can't see it probably on the camera, it just works really nice to seal up this wood. Uh, thank you, Karen, for all your work on those. Yeah, oil. You get oil from your hands always uh, right on gives kind wood. of a stain. Yeah. Yep, and that's fantastic. Really nice. All right. Well, Cliff, thanks so much. You're welcome. Really appreciate that tour because it's mostly, is it mostly the carpentry part of it done? Yeah. We're getting real close to being ready for the solar now. So that'll probably be our next big step. Oh, that should be here Tuesday. Great. Good to know. And uh, Sue Ann is still in town and she'll be back out, uh, stay there long enough to get it. Oh, great. Fantastic. Yeah, we're just about ready for that. A few more little adjustments, and uh, and we're ready to start on the solar. Great. All right. Well, thanks, Cliff, so much, folks. Let's uh, close up this video. So there you have it. We uh, got some fantastic work done so far. I gotta get out of the sun. There we go, that's not bad. So we've done some fantastic work here. We just got uh, so much done. Uh, let me adjust down, getting some of that light out of there. Is there any shade around here? Nope, that's about it. Okay, that's good enough. So we got a lot done. It's been five days. When you have a couple of guys that really know what they're doing and some uh, willing and capable uh, assistants, it can just really get a lot done really quick. And that's just exactly what they've done, a lot really quick. So we'll be ready to hand, uh, we start in on the solar on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we should be done. We could possibly be done with the entire build by, uh, by uh, next weekend. And that would be amazing. Then we'll start uh, doing the search for finding who we're going to pass this new home along to. And uh, I'm really enthused and excited about that. Okay, thanks so much for watching this video. If you got something out of it, uh, subscribe to the channel. That's the best thing you can do to, su to support me is to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the thumbs up button um, and comment. Comment below. What do you think? Tell us what you think about uh, the van, the build we're doing. And is it going to work? Is it going to be okay? So comment below, and that really helps support us a great deal, too. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, folks, and we will talk to you later.